It was published on the website of the President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky a petition containing a request to Western countries to send their troops to Ukraine. According to the petition each EU member state, as well as the UK and the US, must deploy their troops in Ukraine. The author of the initiative, Natalia Vysoshanskaya, urges the head of state to ask the United States, the United Kingdom, the European Union and other friendly countries to introduce Western troops into Ukraine. The Kremlin said that it perceived a petition launched on the Ukrainian presidency's website on deploying Western troops to the country to be an extremely defiant provocation. We consider this an extremely defiant provocation, no less. And, of course, we are closely watching this. The Kyiv regime is quite unpredictable, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters in a press briefing in Moscow. Peskov reiterated Moscow's warnings regarding the direct intervention of NATO countries in Ukraine as potentially carrying enormous dangers. Earlier, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova told reporters that French troops would be targeted by the Russian army if they were deployed on Ukrainian soil after French President Emmanuel Macron said such a deployment could not be ruled out if Russian troops broke through Ukrainian front lines. The children that were from the Ukraine that were taken hostage, and I hope there will be also other. Друзья, я хочу спросить вас, кто такой Путин? Вы сказали очень много слов, но я не слышал ни одного слова, кто бы сказал Путин мой президент. Путин не президент. Путин убийца. Путин 
Убийца! Путин! Убийца! Путин! Убийца!